Hey there, welcome back to another video on the intercompany series. And in this video, we are going to understand how to create a billing document for the intercompany purchase order or a stock transfer order. And as I have mentioned in my previous videos, this entire intercompany series is a sequence of videos. Please do watch all the videos in sequence to understand the setup step by step. And few videos like the configuration videos are available only for the premium members of this channel. Do become a premium member of this channel by clicking on the join button below the video if you want to access the configuration videos of intercompany and also many other member exclusive videos like Copa series etc. So let's jump into the video. Now before we post the billing document against the delivery, let us go back to the purchase order. This is the purchase order that we have posted and I am going to the purchase order history. So the purchase order history is showing us both goods issue as well as the goods receipt and also the delivery document that has been created. So I'll copy this delivery document and I'll go to the transaction code BF01. Here we'll enter the delivery document number and save it. So it says the system has processed this billing document, but there is a pricing error. So let us display the billing document. I'm going into the change mode. Double click the line item and we'll go to the conditions. So here it says the mandatory condition IV01 is missing. So what is IV01? In the previous discussions, we understood that IV01 is the condition type in the intercompany pricing procedure, which is used for populating or capturing the intercompany price. So I'll enter it manually and here we are going to give the value of this. We can also automate this. We can also automate by maintaining condition records in VK13 or VK11 for IV01 and for the material combination we can maintain what is the price for that. So I have maintained it manually here and save it. So it says the document has been saved. Let us display the accounting part of it. The customer is debited and the revenue is credited. I did not maintain a separate GL account for intercompany revenue. I have maintained a normal one. So that is the reason it is not having any intercompany in the name. But you can always change in your VKOA. So based on this, it is having this accounting document. And this looks pretty normal. There is nothing very much different for an intercompany here. Depending upon the condition types that you're having in the intercompany pricing, we will have the accounting details here. And one more thing I forgot to mention, I was doing some testing and I found out some error. So I want to let you know that when we are creating any EDI vendor mappings, so I'll open SPRO first. And here let us go to SD, Sales and Distribution, Intercompany Billing, sorry, first billing, and then Intercompany Billing. And here we had this automatic posting to the supplier account. Right? So we have mapped our supplier account on the SD side as well. So what we have done is we have created this entry where the first four characters are representing the sending company code and this is the customer that is created in the sending company code and this is the receiving company code and this is the intercompany vendor created in the receiving company code. So there is one issue with this one. We need to maintain the leading zeros only if our customer or the business partner number is numeric. If it is alphanumeric, then we should not maintain any leading zeros. So what I have done is, I did not delete this, but I have created this entry. If I want, I can delete this. So I have created a new entry with four characters of company code and directly I have given the intercompany customer code here. I did not mention any leading zeros and I did not change anything here. So if I don't give this, if I don't change this, we will face some issues with the output processing in the billing document. So I just wanted to correct that. So now one unique thing that we want to see in an intercompany billing document is the output because we have done a lot of configurations for the output RD04, which is the EDI processing. So let us go to the billing document and I'll go on to the output tab. 
And here, if you see, the system had automatically picked up this RD04. And based on the configurations that we have given, based on the condition records that we have maintained, the system had processed this. So now if I select this and go to the processing log, I can see that this is the IDOC that has been generated. So let us go to the transaction code WE02, which is for displaying of the IDOCs. So I'll enter this IDOC and it did not copy. Let me copy it once again. It is 200022 and execute it. So it says the current status is in red. Let us see what is the issue. It says a company code cannot be determined for this one. So it says the system cannot determine the relevant company code since the allocation of data transferred in the invoice is missing in the financial accounting customizing. Ally, Ally is for what? Ally is a partner for vendor. And it says the vendor is ACS AC00 in the financial accounting. So let us proceed this. So now that we have done the configurations, corrections, etc., we'll go back and reprocess this. The transaction code to reprocess an IDOC is BD87. This is the IDOC. Do not worry, there have there have been multiple IDOCs that I have been trying for different purposes, but ultimately this is the IDOC that we can take as a reference and let us execute it. Select this and click on So it says enter a business place. So this error enter business place is very specific for companies or countries which are using business place like India or Thailand. This is a standard message after implementation of India specific or country specific notes, especially for GST. Whenever we are entering any vendor invoice, business place is mandatory to enter. For example, if I directly go to Miro and if I try to post some vendor invoice, for example, if I'm going to a different company code, let me enter the PO. If I just hit enter, it asks me to enter the business place here. So let us let me enter some amount and this is some amount and one. Click OK. So I go to the messages. So there is an enter business place. This is a standard error message. Even you try to override this error in OBA5, this is not solved because this is coming as a part of the standard routines that have been implemented by SAP as a part of India localization. Same with other countries as well. For example, Thailand is one other country which uses business place. So in those countries, SAP had given uh, baddies, a list of baddies, which we need to implement with the help of Apapur, which can help us to override or which can help us to pass the baddy, sorry, pass the business place directly using the baddie. So direct derivation of business place is not possible. It's a standard limitation that we have for some obvious awkward reasons because we have a configuration of mapping the plan to the business place, which we saw earlier. That is applicable only on the SD side for some reasons, but it would have been great if SAP had provided that even on the MM side as well, for example, in the Miro transaction code. So depending on the plant for which the purchase order is created or for which the invoice is being posted it would have been great if the system could have derived the business place for that and would not have thrown this error when we're doing a background processing because in the background processing it is not possible to enter the business place and the idoc type invoice 02 which we are using is not having any business place as a part of the standard structure so either we need to modify the idoc and then fetch the business place from some background configurations and pass it on to the Miro transaction code, which is a huge development, or make use of a list of baddies which are provided by SAP, which I'm showing right now. So these are different business place related extensibility options that SAP had provided us. You can directly go to this SAP S4 HANA and search for India localization and then find out a business place. And there you are having some business place extensibility i'll also provide this link in the description so that you can also have a look and you can check with your evapor 
on how these baddies can be implemented for now i am not implementing this baddies but this error you would not face if you are having any company code other than india or thailand so try it out and let me know if you're having any issues i cannot proceed further because this is a limitation that i'm having but one thing i'll i'll show is instead of using an mm invoice what if in the partner profiles if we enter fi invoice as the vendor invoice and then how that is being posted so that part we can see but overall this is how we need to configure the idoc setup and how we can convert a billing document using some output procedures into a vendor invoice so i hope you have found this video useful if so please do like it share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and as i have mentioned on the beginning of the video I have explained the entire end-to-end -end setup of Intercompany in S4 HANA in a series of videos and I will be posting these videos on every Saturday on this channel. And the configuration videos are exclusively available for the premium members of the channel and please do subscribe to the channel, please join the channel, become a premium member if you want to get access to the configuration videos. However, all the transaction data videos and the master data creation videos are available for everyone on this channel. So I hope you really find these videos useful. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.